Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? This is, is it the 50th? Hold on, let me check. Let me double check. Almost positive it is. It's the 50th. It's the 50th. Oh my God, it's almost been a year. It's the 50th. Stardew Let's Play. Oh man, this is loud. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. I'll save this for, for when it's a year, but I genuinely cannot express how much fun this has been and what a ride it's been. I'm curious to see how long it goes, how long we'll get to completion of everything. I wonder if it'll take another year. Knowing me and the Skull Caves, it might. <laughs> it just might. And my fishing skills. So we shall see. Although I did get the blobfish. Anyways, thank you for being here. I see everybody's comments. Like some people will comment on older ones and be like, I know this is old, but so you probably won't see this. I see those. I still see them. They come up first when I refresh comments. So no matter what time you came in, thank you. And I'm happy you're here. And if you've been here from the beginning, that's wild because I don't think I've ever watched something for a full year every week. I don't think I have. So I'm like in awe of y'all that do that and have that kind of like consistency. That's amazing. I said I was gonna save it. So let me shut up. I'm gonna shut up, but just know I love you and I'm endlessly grateful that you're here. And just like think how far we've come in this year, you know? It's been a wild year. Oh yeah, I have Pierre, 25th from 10 a.m. Okay, Pierre. Wait, did my last day not save? Folks, I think my last day didn't save. It's okay, because you know what we'll do? We'll take this as a sign that one, I'm done, but two, oh, is Marnie's shop open today? Because I was also supposed to buy hay. We'll take this as a sign that I was supposed to figure out what I was doing with Ginger Island, and my pockets are full, of course. Why wouldn't they be? Ah, oh, all this stuff I didn't, yeah. I did not do the last day. Okay, that is something, isn't it? Ah, oh, my fish pond! God darn. Ooh, I can put these in the cask now that I got the cheeses. All right, let's do the animals. Can't believe I forgot to save. I feel like there's been a lot of updates probably. I don't know. It's been, it feels like it's been so long. Y'all know I recovered from COVID. I went to Tahoe this last weekend. It was really, really fun. I just lounged around for like three straight days. I watched the show Stay Close on Netflix, which I 100% recommend. It's so good. If you like like thriller, murder, kind of mystery twists and turns and stuff like that, Stay Close. It's amazing. I think it's like based on a book by this guy and they do a lot of like Netflix adaptations of his books and they're really good. But yeah, I watched that. We watched that. My best friend from law school and I and some of the house would like filter in and watch it. But no one else watched like the full thing. But like my friend and I and then we watched Tick Tick Boom, which I actually wasn't a fan of. I know some of you recommended it to me. I was not really a fan and I love musicals like I'm a musical person. I you, you give me a musical. I will probably not critique it. I just was not that much of a fan of it. I don't know. I don't know. Didn't really resonate with me, sadly. But there's no but. I just didn't <laughs> like it. So yeah, I did that. We hot tubbed. We ate. We played a lot of drinking games and a lot of just like regular games, a lot of Monopoly deal. It was very fun. Very relaxing, fun weekend. And I came back and it's been a relatively good work week. Not too busy. But the up other update I was going to say is that I, I have realized, I have come to the realization that I'm finally very, very burnt out when it comes to content work. And not like this, like not Stardew. I, Stardew is like a part of my routine now and I love doing it. And, and no matter what mood I'm in, I'm like ready to do it. And I'm happy when I'm playing it and like filming and talking with y'all and stuff. But everything else, it's like such a mental mountain to climb to just do anything like for example i've had these two very straightforward oh shoot i forgot to put stuff i've had these two very very straightforward uh like reels tiktoks to edit i've 
they're already filmed. Like I've already filmed them. I literally just have to like splice them together, which takes like two seconds. And I just can't bring myself to do it. It's been on my to-do list for like two weeks and I, there's like a mental block. I can't do it. So that's the kind of burnout we're dealing with. Stage five, <laughs> just like unable to do very basic things that I used to like knock out so easily. Um, and it's frustrating, man. It's frustrating. I don't know if y'all are dealing with burnout at all. I don't know if it's like a pan a panini related thing, you know, like with the second wave. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just like, I, I'm busy and like adjusting. And I finally kind of like adjusted to that. And I'm like, wow, I don't have as much time as I wish I did to create things. So then I just don't create things because it's not the time that I wish I had to create things. And I like to be in a specific mental space and yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go make this fish pond. I've been struggling with that. I've been struggling with like, like daily things too, you know, routines, like just eating at all for one and like eating healthy, healthily. Hey, make my fish pond. And then like working out, like I, I've written out a schedule. I've written out what I should do. It's so easy just to do it, and I just don't do it. Like, one of the things on my schedule is, like, don't go on your phone in the morning. Just no tech. I have a I have a specific time for after I get everything done where I let myself, you know, catch up and do tech stuff. And I can't, I, like, physically cannot do it. I don't know what it is. I just get on my phone, and then I, like, waste an hour. And then I'm, like, instead of getting up at 6.30, I get up at, like, 7.30 or 8. And then I have to roll out of bed, hurry to eat, start working. And I'm just, it's so frustrating. And I think it's like, an, it's also a burnout thing of just like, I just don't have it in me. I don't have like the will to like, yeah, let's just tackle this day. And I, I feel like I've heard from a lot of people that they're feeling the same way right now. So yeah, I don't think it's just me. I think we're all kind of collectively having a hard time. If anyone's not having a hard time, let me know. Tell me about it. And if you are having a hard time. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm going to skip it since we already saw it last time, right? Yeah, that's a fun wallpaper. Um, okay, cleanse, 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 cleanse. Just cleanse close at four. I feel like it does. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, and I don't remember if we had the orange one yet. No, we didn't. Yay, okay, let's go drop the orange one off. I know I'm talking through the entire day that I already did. <laughs> so sorry. But yeah, let me know how you're feeling. Are you feeling a little burnt out or tired? Are you feeling good? If you're feeling good, give us some tips. Give us some tips. I'm in dire need. <laughs> I feel like right now I'm like, okay, working out might make everything better. Maybe I'll just like feel totally fine and have all the energy in the world if I just started working out. But there were definitely times recently where I was not working out and I had a lot of energy. What's that about? Hmm? What's that about body? Why are you tired? Huh? I don't know y'all. <laughs> but I hope everyone is generally hanging in there because it's rough times. It's real rough times. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let this day pass and we'll go explore Ginger Island tomorrow. And I'll get hay from Marnie because that was, I need it. <laughs> and she wasn't in today, I think. Okay, BRB. Okay, we're officially at a place where everything is an ancient seed or a star fruit or a cactus. So I don't remember how much the cactus wine is. Let's sell it today and figure it out because we'll get rid of those if it's not that profitable. And then once these are all up, I'll replace them with ancient seeds. So I have to keep making the seeds actually. That is exciting. Okay, the cactus fruit wine is... Oh, it's only three fifteen. Okay, so it's really not worth it. Uh, for some reason, I thought the cactus fruit was... I thought you get a lot of money from the wine, but I guess not. Well, gonna be getting rid of those. Okay, so this is the day we should have started on and we didn't. Um, That's okay. I think we had a more productive day yesterday than we did before. I have no way of getting a coconut... Do we have a coconut? Okay, and then I need to go to Marnie's. Ah, oh, I do have a coconut, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take down these cactus. Cacti. We're back in it. I forgot what we were doing. I've been interrupted so many times for work things. I say that like I'm not doing this while I'm um, literally working. <laughs> How dare work interrupt me? Oh my God, I still haven't been going to the sewers. I need to go to Marnie's. I need to bring this coconut to Gus. 
And I need to do animals. Okay, it's still early. It's still early. Let's do hay first so my animals don't hate me. I'm just gonna get 200. Okay. You can't have too much hay. That's what I always say. Oh, traveling cart. What have you got? What do you got, girl? Not a gosh dang thing. That's what. She's got not a gosh dang thing. I think this one might be my favorite winter song. It's very peaceful. Oh my god, I got I got a Stardew Valley um I got a Stardew Valley cassette because this was my thinking. I was like the four piece uh the four <laughs> vinyl set of all the seasons of Stardew Valley. It goes for like a hundred dollars online. Okay, it goes for like a hundred dollars. That is not an investment at this point in my life that I currently want to make, and I think that's fair. But I really want everything Stardew music related because as you know, oh, they're mad at me. Well, some of them are. I'm sorry, it's coming, it's coming, I swear. Here. Scooch, scooch. Yeah, as you know, I'm obsessed with the, why did I say it like that? Obsessed, I'm obsessed. Alexis, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the Stardew Valley soundtrack and I'm in the top three percent of listeners or is it five i think it was three top percentage of list oh i think it was one was it one percent no i'm lying let me see oh it was i was in the top one percent of listeners for the uh for concerned ape because i just listened to did i mean to do that no i didn't no because i just listened to the soundtrack all the time and mainly when i was studying i would listen to it and because last year was both a school year and studying for the bar oh boy the numbers were high so i want anything and everything like stardew paraphernalia when it comes to the music when it comes to anything but also the music and so i saw somebody i forget what her name is she's a creator on instagram she's one of my mutuals it's a geeky chick on instagram and i believe on tiktok as well she posted a reel of her unboxing it and unboxing this cute little pink cassette player i don't have a cassette player i probably will never get a cassette player i just want the cassette because i'm a collecting -y person hi husband that's it <sighs> my god why do y'all let me talk so long i don't say anything at all i talk for like an hour and don't actually say anything at all i had one thing to say one thing let's go to the dang sewers <laughs> let's go to the dang sewers and then we'll go to ginger island no more talking for me i'm off limits hi crobus hello stinky boy I don't know why I just feel like he's stinky, you know? Oh, wow, that's a pretty good deal. I feel like that's a good deal. I don't need that. I don't need that. I would very much like the return scepter, but it's okay. All right, so not that helpful, Krobus. That's okay. You don't have to be helpful. It's not your responsibility. Let's go to, is it too late to go to Ginger Island? But what else am I gonna do? I have nothing else to do. I kid you not, I have nothing else to do. Is that someone's birthday today? I just feel... No, it's Evelyn's birthday tomorrow. So can I come in here after it's closed? Or... She looks good as new. Yay, we get to watch this cute uh, animation again. No, we don't. It's okay. We can skip it. All right. Here we are. Now we know what we have to do, okay? I'm not... I'm not BSing. I'm not going, what's happening? Mm, no. None of that. I know what I'm doing this time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get this walnut. Heck yeah. Got me my walnut. I'm going to cut these puppies down. Oh, got some taro tubers. Amazing. Oh, there's so much of it. Oi. Oi. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, journal scrap. What's the journal scrap? Is it from Bird Boy? My ship is lost, shattered by a tempest in the unforgiving sea. I find myself stranded now on these strange shores. My crew has perished, but I still live. Perhaps Lady Luck has blessed these wicked bones of mine, or has her own designs for my fate. At any rate, I have no choice but to make a life for myself here. There's fresh water in abundance, food, something, and fertile soil to work. First, I'll build a shelter. Okay. Give. There's your walnut. Okay, I'm going to skip this because we've seen it. All right, so he wants hidden in the pages of the journal. Yeah. What's hidden in what what's hidden in the pages of the of the journal? It's fine, I'll figure it out myself. It's fine. I don't need anyone's help. 
Uh, then we got Flamey Boy. That's okay, Flamey Boy. I'll follow you another time. Because actually, where you led me was not helpful because we couldn't get there. Watering can? Watering can. Somebody commented watering can. Maybe we can get there. Hey, yo. Let me fill up my watering can. Let me see if that area that Flamey took us towards last time would work with a watering can. Aye, it works. Thank you, friend. Oh, no. Oh, thank you, friend. What the hell? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody told me. Nobody told me I, I, was, I could die here. What the hell? Nobody told me. Can I, I'm just trying to get by. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to simply get by. Why are you now trying to kill me? Now I gotta eat some flowers. Oh, I lost. Oh, I got sick from it. Oh no. Flamey, why are you trying to kill me? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it, stop. Stop trying to kill me. Ah! I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh my god, everything's out to get me, y'all. Goodbye. This was not a welcoming experience, nor a kind one. And I need you all to work on that, okay? I just came here, I just got here. And this is how I'm welcomed? Rude, that's all I have to say. It's just rude. Also, what happened to those, weren't there like a little, wasn't there like a little patch of taro tubers? I swear there was a patch of taro tubers. Okay, you want to, wait, <gasps> what is this? Oh. It's so cute. Oh, the tiger hat is so cute. Look at me. Oh, and Willie's taking me back. Thank you, Willie. I like how Willie just sits on the boat and waits for me to be done with my shenanigans. All right, that was fun. Shit, now I gotta get home. Do I have poo? I at least have poo. I kind of want to put the tiger hat on poo because honestly, nothing beats the vibes of me in a bikini top and a pink cowboy hat. I think the vibes might be to give poo this hat. Also, second question of the day. Because I don't know, I don't think I asked, and I don't know how I didn't ask, but did anyone set any goals for the new year or any resolutions? New year, new me type thing? Let me know. Mine is to be better disciplined, just to have more discipline. I hate the word discipline, but it's the only word that like captures what I mean but just like understand that I'm feeling burnt out understand that I'm like going through something that day but still kind of pushing through it and still kind of like getting stuff done that I need to get done but not in like a toxic productivity way but in a way that's like it's a routine and it's such a part of my routine that I am just used to doing it if that makes sense and I think I just am not a routine person I like to like do things when I want to do things and like I can be productive whoa I can be productive <laughs> in that dynamic, but I'm not a routine person. So at least not at this stage of my life. I used to be when I like had somewhere to go every day, but now with the panini, there's a hidden strawberry back there. No way. With the panini, I just, I don't, I don't have a routine at all. So I'm gonna hold off on the stars until we have more ancient fruit seeds and I'm just gonna fill it with ancient seeds. But yeah, so that's my resolution is just to become more of a routine person because I know I can do it. I've done it before. It's just a matter of getting in the right mindset, you know. I guess I just have to keep this mummified frog. Mm, I should put a chest down here. Mm. All right, what is Evelyn? What is our girl Evelyn like? Where's my poo? Oh, hi poo. <gasps> is my fish pond done? My fish pond's done. Okay, I'm gonna move those other fish ponds and I'm gonna bring this to Clint. And then I'm gonna put the blobfish in the fish pond. And then I guess I'm gonna go to Ginger Island. I don't, yes, because I can fish up some walnuts, golden walnuts. I'll fish them up. Ah, I like how it looks so much better up here. I don't know why I have them all the way down here. I'll do, should I do two on each side or should I do like a little fish farm? I think I'll do a little fish farm. Oh, I can't move that. All right. Thank you, lady. Goodbye. So I'm really excited because cactus fruit. Okay, I can, I can get you that, Willie. 
I've talked at my firm enough to my best friend from law school. Now he wants to come over to my firm. And so we've set it up and he has like an interview now. And I'm so excited and I hope he comes over. It'd be so fun. I was trying to tell him from the start to come over. What is that? Just clay from an Omni Geode? Rude. Yeah, I was trying to tell him when, when we were picking firms while we were in school i was like come to mind it's gonna be great come to mind he didn't listen he didn't listen now look at him but it's okay because they have referral bonuses so that's fun for me and he might get a lateral bonus which is fun for him all right i'm gonna put this hat on on Pooh, putting my my signature cowboy hat back on and Pooh deserves this hat Oh, look at Pooh. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, let's go fish these walnuts out. And then I'll be I'll be content. Wait, Evelyn. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Oh my god, you guys. You guys. I have to bring really a cactus fruit too. Okay. Evelyn likes Evelyn likes chocolate cake. Let's hope that we have chocolate cake. I feel like we do. I'm still mad at Harvey for not liking my cheese. I thought that was a little rude. You know, someone gives you cheese and you what? You criticize them? You tell them it's not healthy? Yeah, it's cheese. I know it's not healthy. Just accept my cheese, you know? Grown men don't know how to accept some cheese. What am I doing? Cake, 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 and then a cactus fruit for Willie. Ayo, we got our cake. All right, I gotta get over there before they don't let me in their house. Wait, cactus. Where is this broad? Why do they have a tiny room and Alex has the huge room? <gasps> If you're reading this, it means I passed on. I'm so sorry you had to go through this. Know that I love you both. Don't be too upset. I'm with Yoba now. My final request, take care of Alex. He needs a family, something stable. He's a good kid. I don't be sloop snooping enough. I do not be snooping enough. I'm going to snoop some more. Grid ball. Mega muscles. Mega muscles. Okay, grid ball. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, so many. Oh, there's Evelyn. Okay, got distracted. Sorry, we're back. Here we go. Happy birthday. Yay. Put little tatas on the table. Never unsee that. Okay, Willie. I guess we shouldn't go to. What's it called now? You're so welcome. And then I'm going to give him this duck feather because he's here. Blech. Yeah, I feel like it'd be a waste of time to go there now. So I'm going to just make that a priority tomorrow. Did I already check what they have in here? Lucky lunch. I'm gonna get this old girl salad. You're so welcome. I'm gonna get you a beer. I get you a beer. Boom. You're welcome. You're welcome. And is anyone else here? Nope. Okay. I got a pizza because I thought Sam was here. Sam's not here. Maybe. Do you think Alex likes pizza? Eh, he said it's cool. Sounds like maybe a like. Solid. Just like. I'm okay with that. I wish I could bring Pooh inside, you know? Pooh deserves to be inside, too. I'm gonna call it an early night since we, uh, repeated a day here. All right, so after animals... Oh, thanks, Evelyn. After animals, today is the day for Ginger Island. I'm not even gonna look at the greenhouse. Huh. Oh, wait, I gotta put the blobfish in the pond. Look at him. <laughs> Come here, blobfish. Don't blobfish like actually look normal, but because they um like people take them out of really deep water, they're like decompressing weird because of the change in uh what is that? Altitude, elevation, I don't know. Whatever it is. It's like a pressure thing, I think. We're feeling pretty good. I'm glad, blobfish. Right on. Alright, 9 a.m. That must be a record. Oh, I forgot about this. Mm, traveling car. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. Dorado? I don't think I have a Dorado. Green couch is ugly. All right. Well, we got a Dorado. Hey, Willy Billy. Come on, baby. I don't recommend eating mac and cheese that's just been sitting out for hours. Maybe that's obvious to some of you. It wasn't to me. And I'm going to keep eating it. Oh, flounder. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want more flounder. If I get one more flounder, y'all. At least I got a lionfish. 
That's different. Oh, tuna. I like how the tuna has a little red lip, a tasteful lip. I gotta move around. Yes, finally. I'm waiting until 10 and then I'm outie. One more. Gotta go home. We tried our best. Let me move my camera back. I was hoping to see how many walnuts we had, but alas. We were forced home. Let's go, Pooh. A sad return. Turtle still blocking the path. Birds still bullying us, still hustling us for walnuts. Who knows how much these walnuts are? These could be thousands of dollars each. We're just handing them over because we're being hassled by a bird? I don't know. This time, y'all saw me save it. Shh. This time, y'all saw me save it. I will be exiting, okay? No more repeat days. We won't do it. We won't do it. All right, y'all. I love you. Stay cozy. Thank you for being with me here for so long or just binging if you're, you've binged it recently. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye.